Hamstrings. And today we're going to go over a few hamstring drills that uh, will really shock your hamstrings and treat them in a different way. So uh, we're going to start with a resistance band. My partner Russell here is going to uh, show us the exercise. I'm going to coach him up. So we're going to do first, we're going to put the band around your neck, similarly to where you'd have a squat bar or a barbell during a squat. And then he's going to step right into the bands, right under his midfoot, one foot at a time. All right. Now he's going to do, he's going to get his posture straight, shoulder blades back, down and back, power posture. Now what we're going to do is we're basically just going to be an RDL, but we're using a resistance band to lower the tension on your lower back in more vulnerable areas. So this can be used as a prep movement or it can be used in rehabilitative sessions. So what Russell's going to do for me, he's going to have a slight bend in his knees, shoulder width apart, strong chest, and he's just going to hinge at the hip. Just hinge at the hip slowly on the way down. And then when he gets to the maximum uh, stretch in his hamstrings, he's going to explode and push his hips forward, push his hips through. Give us another rep. Looking good, looking good, looking good. And explode through. Perfect. And that's how we can do an RDL with resistance bands. For our second movement, we're going to have Russell do a hamstring curl on a med ball. You can use a physio ball as well, but for our purposes, this is the best equipment we have. So to start this movement out, Russell is going to put, place his heels on the apex of the ball. And he's just going to relax. Next step, he's going to put his shoulder blades, his elbows, and relax his arms on the floor. All right. So now he's going to get into a bridge position. He's going to lift his hips to the sky. And the goal for this exercise is to bring from heel to toe. So he's going to hamstring curl, and he's going to end right at his toes. Now give me another one. All right, keep your hips up. Make sure he ends right at his toes. That's it. Okay, for our third movement, we're going to do a glute ham raise. So Russell is going to get himself together. He's going to get on his knees. He's going to have some sort of restriction uh, behind his heels just so you'll see for the movement. So what I'm gonna have Russell do here is he's going to essentially fall forward and work on eccentrically loading his hamstrings as far as he can. So if you just fall forward for me really slowly and then once you feel like you're out of fall, flex back forward. There you go, give me another rep. Fall, 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 and fast back. Ooh, good one, okay. So now, if we wanna work on purely eccentric strength, we can use a resistance band. Russell is going to put it on in a backpack fashion. Who's going to put it behind his neck, one strap at a time. Now what I'm going to have Russell do here is he's going to fall forward as far as he can while controlling himself with his hamstrings. And as soon as he can't do it anymore, he falls forward and pushes himself back up. Give me one more rep here. So slowly, slowly, control, 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 and push back up. All right, that's another way to work your hamstrings.